All right, everybody, welcome back. It's another episode of Replacing Russ, and we are back. And we finally got back in the win column, beating the Eagles last week, 34-28. to uh, But we're still four and a half games back in the division. Uh, we will be taking on a the 14th ranked defense in the league. We're taking on the 3-5 and five New England Patriots. Um, not a lot of positives to talk about, really. Phil Holcomb has been pretty good. Um, this year, to be honest with you, and we still are in the racing for a wild card. Like we're in the race. Like yeah, we're three and five, but these teams are four and four, and they'd technically be in the playoffs right now. So easy, easy chance. We just got to win. All that matters is winning right now. Um, no new stuff to talk about. I don't think. I'm pretty sure we did sign a um a free agent of some sort maybe a tight end or a receiver i can't remember um yeah we did get will mallory i think i talked about that in a previous episode other than that i think we're doing fine it is time to jump in right now to the game i don't want to waste any time here you guys know what's going on if you've watched the series um if you haven't watched the series definitely go and give that a like give all the views on the videos you can catch up see there's some some videos talking about how we built the team around philip holcomb you can go watch us draft philip holcomb there's all sorts of videos um the playlist will be linked uh in the video so here we go player spotlight who do you think it's going to be obviously it's going to be Cortland sutton uh what a game last week 118 yards on three catches and a touchdown we're taking on mac jones who still uh, in year three of this franchise, is the quarterback of the New England Patriots. And he leads him down to a touchdown right at the beginning. So we might have a shootout here today as the defense wants no part of Mac Jones. We do have JT Booth on a kind of a good route here. Uh, we had him. Philip Holcomb missed him. Okay, uh, JT Booth, the rookie out of Oklahoma, has been doing very good. Uh, I'm on a mission, not necessarily to get him rookie of the year, because I don't think like it's that important, but he deserves it, honestly. He's got a lot of receptions, he's got a lot of yards, um, and more importantly, I mean, the dude is helping us on offense tremendously uh, compared to what we have in the past, along with Quez Watkins. Big free agent signing. Oh, we got to get someone open. No one's open. No one's open. Ah, tried to get it to JT Booth, but uh, the edge rush is there. I think it's Josh Uche um, on the pursuit. And we're going to have to punt it away. J.K. Scott on another free agent signing. And we're going to have Damari Mathis down there trying to make the tackle. And he's going to. So uh, got him down to 24. Ramondre Stevenson having a good year so far. Almost 600 yards and five touchdowns already. Easily get the ball back. The defense makes a huge play. And we got to get this ball on the ground. Let's see if we can run the ball here. We got A.J. Dillon, one of the best power running backs in the National Football League. Look at him. Look at him go. Power forward for five yards. We love to see it. Huge chance to get something going downfield here against single high safeties. And we miss him. We just miss him. Just a little bit inaccurate on the throw there from Phil. Um, tried to get it over that lurking corner and underneath the deep safety. And we just could not fit it in there, unfortunately. We are going to have JT Booth in a one-on-one -on -one here. We're going to see what the safety does pre-snap. We got him. We overthrow him. Phil is off to start this game. I mean, that's 0 for 4 to start. All throws have been inaccurate. Uh, only one was a hurry. The other three, he's sitting back there. He's, he has time. He has time to uh, slice and dice, and he's just missing the throws. That's a really good punt uh, by JT. And Riley Moss gives gives the punt return of the business for no reason uh, as we hold Ramondre Stevenson to just four yards on that last drive because it's the same graphic that they put up uh, previously. And uh, they're going to, you know what? I just had to say something because they went down and scored. All right, Phil. All right, Phil. We don't have the we don't have a home field advantage, and we're at home, so that's rough. Uh, don't like to see that. Finally, completes a pass to Bronson Gathers, 
who gets seven yards but steps out of bounds inexplicably uh, because nobody was around him. So we're going to try to go with A.J. Dillon here on the ground, see if we can't run for this first down, get some of this momentum back. We need a score in the worst way on this drive. There we go. First first down of the game for the offense. A.J. Dillon gets a couple on that. Let's see if we can go play action here off of that and take a deep shot maybe to Cortland. Let's see if we can't get Booth coming over the middle. What are we going to have here? Oh, I threw it right to the defender. I didn't see the safety lurking. The corner slash safety. I don't know who that was. He was just sitting there waiting on the route, and we're going to get down 21 nothing very fast. This happens sometimes. Sometimes we get the all Madden uh, just absolute shit pumping that we deserve for playing the way that we do sometimes. Um, it's not looking great, but it's not over yet. It's the second quarter, right? We've only ran 10 offensive plays. It's fine. We're fine. If we could hit a pass, man. If we could hit a pass with Phillies, one for seven. Oh, man. One of the worst games of Phil's career to this point. Uh, reminiscent of those Falcons games uh, back when I first started this, if you remember... And that's just going to get swatted away by number 17. I don't know who that is. Uh, oof. Okay, we're going to punt it again. This is a brutal game so far. Absolutely embarrassing so far from the Denver Broncos and Phil Holcomb. As the return man steps out at the 22, can we possibly get the ball back? Maybe get a turnover? Defense needs to get something working for us because the offense isn't doing anything. Huge. We're on offense, and we're in the red zone. Exactly what we needed. Now we can run runs, red zone scissors. See if we can't get something to A.J. Dillon. Look at him. Drop it in there. Oh, what a play by Kyle Duggar. The safety. What a play. I thought we had that all the way. We had red zone scissors. I was pretty sure we were getting that to A.J. Dillon for a touchdown. Dang it. What a try. All right, let's see if we can run the ball here. No, we cannot. Five rushes for 26 yards. Not really that bad, but we're not able to sustain anything on the ground uh, simply because we cannot sustain drives right now. I don't know if I like this play call, but... It's knocked out. Are you kidding me, man? Are you kidding me? JT Booth just dropped the ball. We're going to have to kick a field goal. It Phillip is 1 for 10. What are we doing? Drew Locke with the hole. Jake Verity kicks it up. It's 21 to 3. Just before the two-minute warning, can we get another stop is going to be the question. The answer is no. We give up another touchdown before the half. It's 28 to 3. Oh, this is brutal. What a brutal game. Just nothing going right for us so far. We do have Cortland deep, possibly. And he drops it. Par for the course here. Phillip is 1 for 7, or 1 for 11, excuse me. I mean, this is ridiculous. There, There's nothing going right here in this one. If we can come back from this in the second half, this will be the biggest comeback, the biggest game in Phillip's career. There's Zaire Johnson. Huge, huge play. We're going to take a timeout. That's a big one. All right, get some confidence for the young Philip Holcomb. Can we get Quez going down the seam maybe? I kind of like it if we can get some protection here. Pick. Uh, I don't know why Kyle Duggar didn't decide to intercept that. Great coverage, nobody open. Uh, just trying to get something going on offense. This has been brutal to watch, I'm sure, for you guys. Uh, can't believe that you guys are still here. Probably aren't, to be fair. Oh, he got it. Got it to him. Got it to him. Let's go. Hit as he throws. Bronson Gathers is going to get us in field goal range. Uh, okay, so we're going to put three through here. Uh, maybe. I might have missed that. Oh, we snuck it in. Okay. So 28-6 to six is going to be the score at the half. Uh, we should get the ball first and a chance to go down and score, but we have to get touchdowns here. Uh, that was huge to get three, though. I will give... Credit where credit is due. Big play. I don't know if we can just keep going deep, but I'm going to try. I just don't know if we can get the time. Nope. We're sacked. Nothing open. Nobody open. We're sacked five against six. They blitzed, and we had no answer. 
Cortland could be open here. I don't know where the safety is. And it's intercepted by Kyle Duggar. Oh, I thought that Cortland Sutton was going to be able to come back and make a play on the ball, but Kyle Duggar steps in front, and we're giving up three points. Could have been a lot worse, honestly. 31-6. to We've already turned it over twice. This has been one of the worst games I've ever played. We can't run the ball. It's just completely killing the offense. Marvin Mims finally gets something going. Phil is 4 for 16. I mean, good Lord. He's completing 25% of his passes. That is not a good number. Not where you want to be in the NFL. Oh, man. Who's open? Who's open? No one. No one's open. No one's open. But Phil's going to make a play to Quez Watkins. It doesn't matter. No one's open. We're, we're going. Phil's in a groove now. Phil's in a groove now. Phil's in a groove now. Here we go. <clears throat> Gonna run this play to the near to the far side of the field. This is exactly what we want. Who's gonna be open? Marvin Mims is gonna be open. Touchdown, Broncos. Let's go. Huge play. Phil finally gets on the board. It won't let me do a celebration. It's stuck on the screen. I think we might be bugged. Alright. Love to see that. We are completely bugged right now. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's off the screen. Okay. Huge. Okay. 31-13. Four minutes to go in the third quarter. Got to get the ball back on the ground. We're still down 18, which is three possessions. I definitely ooh, definitely should have started playing and went for two the last time. Um, however, it doesn't really matter. Let's be real. Phil makes the right play to Zaire Johnson. Gets the first down. We're 7 for 19. We're creeping up. We were 1 for 11. Uh, so 6 for our last 8. Love to see it. Got to get the ball to JT Booth. He is a playmaker. He's a difference maker. We got to get him the ball. Doesn't matter. A.J. Dillon over the middle. Phil is cooking now. Fits that into a tight window. Are we able to get something going? Remember, no Greg Dulcich here as he is out. There's JT Booth. Can we get a block from the other? We can. Huge block from AJ Dillon. And then JT Booth goes down. Oh, just when you think things can't get worse, they do. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. That's not good. Oh, yikes. Okay, so we're going to still have the same crew in the game. There's Bronson Gathers. Switches the ball to his inside hand for some reason, so when I stiff arm, he puts his other arm out uh, to the side where nobody is. Fantastic. Let's see if anyone will be open on this play. And there's Quez Watkins, who in it. Now he fumbles, picking up the ball. Four Denver Broncos around the ball, and nobody picks it up. Only thing we can hope is that Quez was down and he was not, and that's going to be three points for the New England Patriots. That is brutal. Driving down the field with a chance to cut it to a two-possession game. The good news is it's still a three-possession game. Bad news is uh, this game is likely over. We're going to get out of bounds here. JT Booth. Okay, Phil is 12 for 24 after the 1 for 11 start. Uh, I'm not loving what we're seeing here um, in this game. I don't know that we're going to be able to get a win, to be honest with you. But, hey, you know what? We're trying. There's Zaire Johnson going up. We're going to go out of bounds. Again, that's a late hit. Philip Holcomb goes down. No. Are you kidding me? Phil is out of his mind on the sideline. There's just no way we can keep having him get injured. There's Zaire. There's Zaire. There's Zaire. Let's go. Go, Zaire Johnson. Go. Go, Zaire Johnson. All the way down to the three-yard line. A 55-yard carry for the rookie. Huge play. He dislocated his thumb. Dude, Phil's a gamer, bro. Are you kidding me? Phil's back in the game. Phil's back in the game. Oh, he's back in the game. He's back in the game. Wow, what a play to have laid the sack. 
And he throws it away, makes the right play. What a play by Phil to evade that sack. I honestly don't know how he did it. Let's see if we can get Cortland Sutton here. Easy touchdown. Let's go, baby. Huge. Can we get a stop now? Please, defense. No, we cannot. It's 41-20. to 20. <clears throat> I mean, brutal. Quite honestly, one of the worst games we've ever played. I know I say that quite often because I do play bad here often. Uh, what a duck. As we throw it up. I don't I don't know why. Inaccurate touch pass. That was that was weird. That was supposed to be a deep shot. Just wasn't wasn't a good one. Uh, we were we were in a hole from the jump. Started one for eleven passing. Just, just not gonna win many games like that. And I don't know if it's his throwing thumb that's broken. Uh, but some of these throws are coming out of his hands super weird, uh, which I don't love. Still a minute 47 on the clock, and we are going to play until the clock hits zero, as one does. Yeah, it's got to be his throwing hand. I mean, good lord. I mean, that's a high throw that's deep. He's got 98 throw power, 95 throw power, and it's just a duck. I think he might have a broken throwing thumb hand. That's, I mean, that's a brutal game. Brutal loss, and we just get smoked at home by the Patriots, basically ending our playoff chances, playoff hopes. Oh, we're three and six. 41 to 20. We get smoked by the Pats at home. That's just brutal. That was not a high quality performance. Um, not a high quality game. As I said, Philip Holcomb started one for 11. Uh, he did finish. 14 for his next 19 but he still threw three picks and he is injured with a broken thumb we only ran the ball seven times just got behind so early so fast jt booth only two for 22 uh pretty brutal performance all around J jacoby errington had a pretty good game coleco wall as well ps2 um coleco wall also had a pick love to see that nobody forced a fumble nobody scored a touchdown the defense did not play well um regardless Hit that like button, hit that follow button if you want Phil to get healthy. Please, we need it. Uh, 41 to 20, just an absolute brutal showing uh, from Phil and the Broncos. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.